Scott, thanks for the opportunity to talk to you at West Tech here in Long Beach. Now, this is a, a fantastic product that you've actually developed. Could you tell us a little bit about what it actually does and how it helps industry? Absolutely. So what we make is this unit. This is called the Power Tool Brake, and it is an aftermarket addition to your everyday machine tools like bench grinders or band saws or disc sanders. And what we do is we make it very easy for a company to comply with OSHA and make it uh, safer to use their equipment in the workplace. So are you selling this product uh, in, into end users, but also for schools and academies? Absolutely. So we see uh, Industry and manufacturing, aerospace, for example, is one of our biggest customers, but schools, universities, and maker spaces are also a big customer of ours, uh, which is supported by the fact that we have something called Make Safe Futures, which is specifically um, to give discounts and um, other incentives for schools and people that might not be able to uh, afford it off the, out of the gate for them to make their students safe. So over and above uh, exhibitions, uh, how, how do you demonstrate your products? Do you, do you have a showroom, for instance? Yeah, so what we found, best of all, is we have videos on our website of running these uh, devices with all sorts of machinery. You can see custom integrations on lathes, you can see grinders, bandsaws, disc sanders at shops that look, you know, not perfect like all shops do in reality. <laughs> and I suppose to a certain extent it, it, it sort of keeps the insurances down as well, obviously having this type of technology on, on the shop floor. Absolutely, because you're obviously actively preventing injuries, but when you're either going for insurance or you're trying to have a conversation when maybe an injury on another machine happens, it really shows that you're moving in the right direction and that your company is focused on safety. Now, I understand you're very strong uh, in, in the USA with this product, but you know what, what about the rest of the world and Europe? Yeah, so we've done some limited direct sales to the, the United Kingdom. We even have a few customers in South Africa, but we are actively looking for distribution in Europe. And when you're looking for uh, the, the type of distribution, is it through machine tool companies, for instance? Yes, yeah, so we've seen a few di different avenues that have worked in the past. One is that you can go through um, everyday industrial distributors, kind of like the Grangers of the world, the Fastenals, who we do distribute through here in the U.S. Um, but then separately, we've seen a lot of machine tool um, distributors and manufacturers starting to add this as an option. So they can say, oh, you know, we're reselling a bandsaw or manufacturing a bandsaw, and to their customers they can pay a little extra and get one of these units pre-installed or sometimes even white labeled. And do you uh, have some good case studies where you've actually presented that, you know, or prevented accidents effectively? So the, the great thing about um, accidents is you don't know if you prevented them, <laughs> but um, we do show that um, people using our equipment not only don't get injured, we've actually never had an, um, an injury on any piece of equipment we've been installed on. And um, more than that, people are more comfortable and sometimes even more productive when they're using our tech. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. So if you're in Europe and uh, looking uh, maybe to help Scott out and actually um, sell this product across Europe, touch base with these guys, hopefully you can help.